If you're treating mid-journey like a slot machine, just pulling the lever and hoping for magic, you're doing it wrong. If you're a designer, illustrator, or a creative professional, you already know the pain. You re-roll the same prompt a dozen times, hoping for the right image, but there's always something just not quite right with the result. You don't need more random generations, you need a workflow. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to take one rough concept and evolve it into a polished final image intentionally, efficiently, and creatively. This is how professionals ideate, iterate, and refine in mid-journey. And once you learn it, you'll never go back to the spray and pray method again. So let's jump into mid-journey. Here's where it starts. The editorial theme I'm working on today is pushed to the edge of the city. The assignment is to explore the feeling of being excluded, forgotten, or on the margins in an urban space. So I'm thinking about crumbled buildings, overlooked communities, and just the eerie quiet that the past uh, of the last streetlight has, right? This is for a magazine article illustration, and this uh, visual sets the hook for the reader, and we wanna do something that's really gonna draw them in. But with Mid Journey, here's something important, and I really wanna emphasize this. I'm starting this with a deliberately vague prompt, because in this workflow, the goal isn't perfection right off the bat. The goal is to generate varied starting points. These are rough concepts that I can build on. I want Midjourney to surprise me with different interpretations of this theme, and I'm going to keep it loose for that. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is loading the prompt with too many details right away. That locks Midjourney into one vision too early. So don't get trapped in that corner. Instead, I'm gonna be prompting something like this, and I've already got it in the prompt window there, which is editorial illustration style, city outskirts, gritty, moody, lonely, cinematic lighting. I've got my variety set at 30, which could give me um, uh, some different results that all um, kind of match each other. I got my AR at 16 to nine, which is the aspect ratio that the magazine gave me. And my creativity is only set to 150. Now, I'm also going to do the repeat command, which is one of my favorite tricks at RR4. So instead of getting only four uh, images with one prompt, I'm going to get 16. So I'm gonna hit go. And then we're going to get all of these all at once. And what I'm looking for is something that I can start my idea with. I can change it. I can do something with, with it. And we're going to be using the remix uh, tool to play around with this, right? So first, let's just see what we get, all right? So we got kind of an alleyway. We've got a person walking. I like the lighting here. That's kind of neat. Uh, I've got uh, kind of a guy standing on the edge of a cliff. I got some trains, but the, the, the city's in the background. I kind of like that one a lot. I've got a little boy walking in some ruins. I got somebody walking in the middle of traffic. Uh, I got, this is really nice with the street light glow. That's kind of cool. I got the uh, industrial kind of look with some flowers, kind of a horror movie thing there, suburbia at nighttime. Another guy on the edge of the cliff. Got a lot of factories, it looks like. And, um, all right, and it's kind of a city park. I kind of like this one too. So looking at these, I want to pick one or two of these to kind of re-roll, right? I kind of like this one. So I'm going to hit very strong. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to see more images like this one. And I'm not changing any prompts yet. We're going to hit Remax here in a minute, but I'm just going to go very strong once. And there was another one I liked. Where was, oh, this, the suburban house. Let's do that one. And uh, I like uh, the trains. I like the trains. Very strong. And uh, I like the lighting on this one. So we're going to hit very strong on that one too, right? So the great thing about this workflow is we haven't really detailed anything yet. Let's just see if we can get something that we really like. 
So this is dark and dismal. Now, is this the push to the edge of the city? Is that what this makes you think about? I don't know. It kind of does a little bit. How about this one? Looks kind of lonely suburban. Here we got the trains again. I kind of like the, the girl walking. I don't like she's carrying a gun. I don't know what that's about. We didn't really do that. So let's take this idea and explore this a little bit, right? So here's where Remix comes in, right? So we're just going to hit Remix Strong. And then this gives the uh, Remix, you see the thumbnail up here. And then we can change our prompt a little bit, right? So we're going to try this. We're going to say editorial illustration style. And we're going to say person walking and we're going to say neon lights uh city outskirts you know blah, blah 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 i think all that's fine so we just changed one thing editorial illustration style let's just leave that alone i was thinking about adding an s ref let's see what we get first here's our result right here's our last one okay here's our next one right i like this one the best so now let's put some SREF codes in here and see what happens. So I'm going to hit Remix Strong for this image. And I'm going to also include uh, a bunch of SREFs. So I've got, what, six different SREFs. Now, uh, I keep and collect these, and I'm not going to go into that. I've got other videos that talk about SREF codes. So if you want to learn more about that, check those out. Real quickly, an SREF code is a type of art aesthetic so it's prescribing a certain visual based on this number. And when I put it in the curly brackets, this allows me to create many iterations all at once. And it's just comma separated. So I'm going to create six different versions of this image, but with the art aesthetic that is prescribed to that number. This is where it gets really interesting, especially when we're using the remix command, because now we're fine tuning what we want. We know we like a guy, we know we like somebody walking and we're kind of playing around with some things and we'll see what we get. Now, all these FREF codes are slightly different and uh, this is where they start. And I chose these because I thought they would look good with uh, this particular prompt. Right. And so this kind of has a really neat image. I like the complexity of the cool and the warm tones. I think that looks good. Let's look at the rest of these. This, I thought maybe something more monochromatic would look good. I kind of like these, but I kind of like the brighter colors better. This has kind of a real interesting aqua hue to it. Does this look like, you know, push to the edge of the city? That's kind of what we're looking for here. I like that. What about this one? So our illustration here should tell a story. This one looks kind of dark and dismal. I really like this one the best. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit very subtle, very strong. And the other one that I liked was the first one. This one, we're going to do very subtle, very strong also. And the reason we're doing this is because we're sneaking up sneaking up on the ones that we like okay now we haven't edited anything we're just kind of looking at some things that we like about these and uh, then we can go in and micromanage the image after we get kind of a base for it i like this magenta color on the sidewalk so we're looking through these i like these two squares that looks great all right, so now let's play around with these a little bit, right? So here's where you can fine tune everything by using the editor command. And what we want to do is we want to move this around. And I like these two warm panels. But what we want to do is we kind of want to center those a little bit. That way they look a little more purposeful. Let's hit submit. And there was another image that I really liked but I wanted to tweak that one. Let's get to that. It was the one with the magenta on the sidewalk. This one. Anything here we don't like? I think these aqua squares are kind of distracting. 
let's see if we take those out, if we get something better, right? Let's just, let's just do this whole corner here. All right. Now let's check out our result. So we move this kind of more in the middle. And then this is the new corner. All right. So here's what I always like to do. I like to vote with the upscale. So I upscale subtle. That's the one I like for that one. And for this one, I kind of like the one with the darker windows. We're going to upscale subtle for that. And then what we can do is we can compare and then we're going to download the one that we like the best. Okay, now we've got our uh, two images. They've been upscaled, and then we can just kind of toggle back and forth between them. Which one do you think would draw the attention to the reader more? To me, it's this one. So here you can see, and in just a couple moments, I've gone from a loose idea to something more refined, and I would send this in to see what the editor thought. Anyway, that's how we can work through that workflow. So that's it. One rough idea slowly shaped into something purposeful using just a few smart remix tweaks. This is what I mean by a professional creative workflow. You're not just generating images, you're designing with intention. Remember, ideate, iterate, and refine. Use remix to push the idea forward fix what's not working and let each step inform the next. It's better than re-rolling and it gets you closer to images that actually mean something. Try this process on your next project. I think you'll be surprised how far you can go. And hey, if you want more stuff like this, come join us in the Mid-Journey Experience community. Subscribers get a weekly newsletter and school community and we dive into tips like this constantly. You'll get walkthroughs, case studies, and behind the scenes prompts, all made for creative professionals who want to level up. We even have an open office hour Zoom call every single Tuesday. The link's below. We'll love to see you there. Take care. Thanks for watching.